Hi, my name is Mimi, and this is my The Vampire Diaries Season 5 Episode... Let's see, episode 7, Death and the Maiden. This was the Bring Bonnie Back to Life, Get Rid of Silas, Get Rid of Amora, uh, Mora, Get Rid of Tati, Get Rid of Everybody, but not really. Bonnie got back to life. Bonnie's now the gate portal thing between both realms. She now gets to feel every ghost that is dying and transferring on. She gets to feel their death, so ow. But when um, Cat Graham was screaming and clutching her stomach, I was like, wow, that looks like really bad crap that she's gonna puke, so <laughs> fix that, please. Um, whatever, I, I don't I don't know. I like it, but it's made, it made up for a lot, but at the same time, it's just, guys, why? I'm happy Bonnie's back, I really am, because it's great for Caroline and Elena, and of course Jeremy, and now they have their plot filler character back to fix all their shit. Catherine's still dying, Caroline knows that Catherine's daughter is alive, and the daughter wants to go traveling the world with Catherine while she's dying, Catherine's all like, bitch, I'm not having your shit, and it's just like, oh, okay, so that's what this has escalated to. It just... Hmm. Now they're back in college, cool. I, I don't know, it's one of those shows that I'm too invested in the characters to stop watching. <coughs> But it's not it's not as intense as I have for Arrow and Supernatural and the Tomorrow People and White Collar and Elementary and NCS. They're just like there's it's just and the originals, so whatever. Thanks for watching. Sorry this isn't as woo as it could be. Uh oh. Sassy Silas in the beginning was cool when he killed the random people at the bus stop. <laughs> That's really about it.